Hola Banaka, Namaste, Ram Ram, Satsriaka, Kia Ora, and hello to everyone that's going to be viewing this video. Um, my name is Preeti Mana, I'm 25 years old. Um, I'm a mom of an eight month old baby girl that's absolutely adorable. Um, and my identity falls down as a community home support worker. I've been working as in mental health and disability for the past four plus years. I currently work for two different companies and I'm transitioning back just to one full time after have taking maternity leave. So I just resigned from the other company, but I'm still like getting I'm still having interviews and stuff. So it my um profession basically my role revolves around um taking my clients that are mentally unstable, like um, autistic, schizophrenia, Down syndrome, any type of intellectual disability, even depression falls down into it. Um, so we just have a one-on-one -on -one, um, relationship, a working relationship with the client, and we take them out into the communities and they do whatever they want to do that's normal to socialize and engage into the community like a normal individual, and we all treat them equally. Um, I actually love my job. It does fall into the category of social services because um, a lot of people keep confusing my role as normal support workers who actually go out to the elderly or vulnerable people that are helpless and they need help with like personal cares, cooking, cleaning, etc. So we don't really do all of that. But yep, and I am obviously also um, a, a year three Bachelor of Social Work student um, and I can't wait to graduate and get this degree so I can go out into the community and help more vulnerable people because that's where my passion relies. I am a very empathic, honest, um, dedicated, hardworking, very loyal, advocating human being, woman, young woman that wants change into the community, especially towards like drugs and human trafficking or child trafficking, child abuse and I've more drawn into like working around children ever since I had a baby and I've noticed that children feel very comfortable around me and they open up really easily too. So my passion is definitely school based because having a baby and she's going to transition to daycare for a while and then go to primary school and obviously I need to be available to pick my baby and go to school etc. So Swiss is something I'm looking at that's going to be flexible around my working hours and if I want to extend my family that's going to work around what I want to do as a social worker and the future goals are just to buy a house and maybe get into counselling later on after having too much of social services because I've been doing it for so long and you know sometimes you just need a change. So the first question is evaluating and reflecting on your own knowledges, values and beliefs in relation to social work. Um, my personal views fall down into Hinduism and Buddhism comes out of Hinduism and um, I practice more of spiritual stuff so it's more of Buddhism because I believe in um, doing good, saying good, seeing good and just being good and that's my motto. Um, I don't believe in um, too much of religion that wants to like complicate everything because I, I keep my life very simple. Um, I believe in being very, very hard working, having goals, as I just previously said, if you don't have goals, you don't have anything to look forward to, you don't want to wake up and have that boost of energy that, oh yes, I have to go out and work hard and make money and I need to succeed, I need to get this. So in a sense, I'm very like career focused and I want good things in life and I know I'm going to work really hard to get them and I know people that are out there that don't work so hard and they still get stuff but not in like a positive way which I am kind of like against in the way like you need to really work hard to get what you want because in a sense you're putting up positivity to the universe by showing it how hard working you are and you will end up receiving the reward and that will make you so happy with so much self-respect and self-worth and just great mental health like everything will be positive you know and there's always a balance my other values and <clears throat> beliefs are that be honest tell the truth no matter how hard it is because the truth will go a long way and if you lie you 
you're just digging yourself a graveyard and that's something I will live by. I believe in pure honesty. Having confidence and self-love comes with honesty because if you don't love yourself, you won't be able to be so confident. And if you don't have that self-love and if you're not confident, then how are you going to go and help people that are vulnerable and that are obviously insecure about something and they're going through stuff, right? So you want to be super confident. Have the right mental health. If you don't, get some counselling. That's my motto. Therapy, you know, any type of therapy. Go out into the nature, in a sense of Māori, te ao Māori, um, wairua, everything spiritual. Go into the nature, spend some time there and just... Heal yourself before you can heal others. I come across having a very intimidating um, personality because I'm very honest and assertive. So I also have this other motto and value that you should always have a voice and always speak up. Because if you don't speak up, then that's where the corruption falls in, right? If you're not talking about an issue and you're just putting a blanket over it, nothing's going to change nothing's going to help that situation and there's no growth and you want to evolve i believe that i have a hundred percent perfect mindset and my values and knowledges and beliefs have a lot of relation to social work practice because if you don't have a personality that's going to be a firecracker personality then if you can't help yourself you can't help anyone else if you're not working hard and if you don't love this type of work, then you're in the wrong place because if you're money focused, then, you know, you're not in here for the right reasons. Bringing up the nursing strikes, like if you wanted to be a social worker and you knew you're going to get paid the certain amount, then why study it? So personally, I believe to help people, I had to get this degree and it's been hard. It's been a long journey and there has been a lot of breaks and stuff I've taken time off and it's been a long process to get here today as a year three student of social work and I know that my intentions are correct and I know I'm in the right career path because I know I'm going to be an amazing social worker one day and that's what motivates me every day you know it's just how I am as a person I know I'm a great person and I know I'm going to help more people and I have been for the past Four, five years and my values knowledges and everything just links to what social work practice is moving forward um, to the second question evaluating the social work knowledges theories models perspective skills etc that you have studied over the last few of the program in terms of how they align with social work values and their application to social work and then I will be discussing um, my poster at the back, which is too bright in this position. So I will show that in depth. Um, but let's talk about um, the models and theories that I've learned in the past um, maybe two years I've been at MIT. Because I cross credited from Open Polytechnic. So my favourite um, model has always been that I can use for myself as a Pacific Islander from Fiji Islands as well um, for Nofale obviously it's very similar to the second one I'm going to use is Te Whare Tapafa another model um, um, they link so much it's uh, one is a house the second one is a house as well actually and they have similar dimensions of like family spiritual mental emotional etc and um, my favorite, um, my very westernized theory has always been ecological systems theory by Griffin Bruner. Um, I don't know, I'm so drawn to this western theory because I want to work on children and I know that this ecosystem map and stuff is such a good way of understanding children. And my other western f most favorite um, theory is the id ego and super ego also helps in the psychological way of understanding a human being's um, growth and why they function the way they do if you use and combine both of these western theories and models together it really definitely helps you um, in the sense of working with a client you will understand why they are the way they are or why they operate in the way they do it just gives you a really good 
enlightenment of understanding how, how a human brain and our human is behaving and interacting with somebody or their behaviors because of their past of their upbringing now if i have to link my models and theories back to social work practice obviously the social work theories and models um Fonofale, i would obviously be using with um, pacific islander families and maybe uh, indians and asians um being br um, born in not born sorry being bred in south auckland um majority of the whanau that are around here a pacific islander fijian indian you know and now these Indi indians down here too um i would definitely consider because consider this because most of our values are the same with pacific islanders and region indians as well if i want to link back the other two the westernized ones um obviously i can use th these theories with any um cultural or gender or anything because it covers everybody um it's a psychological theory basically it's about a mindset about how a person is and it doesn't matter what color or what you practice or what you believe in it's about who you are as a person and that's the most important thing con like considering anything else that's the most important thing it's for somebody to understand you and why you are the way that you are and that's what we do in social work right we work with families and we work with clients and we need to understand them to get them the right support or the right services. Um, bringing in the tikanga, the Māori models, um, tikanga or te whā, um, it's very similar. I mean, the values I have align so much with these Māori values as well because I am spiritual and uh, Māori is all about fano and fano are very important to Māori. And these models obviously align with social work practice because we need to consider the Maoris more because at the end of the day Aotearoa is somewhat theirs because they were here first and um I guess th this is how it's linked to social work practice because we need to consider the Maoris and be empathic with them and then consider Pacific Islanders and Indians and the non-coloured people that are around us because these westernized theories link up with everyone in a social work sense and um, the models definitely align in the sense of um, cultural beliefs and needs that you must meet as well so you don't disrespect somebody while you're working with them moving forward and um, finishing this video presentation with the last question that is discuss your own metaphor that outlines your own theological framework for practice in an Aotearoa New Zealand social work context of choice um, being creative I made a little poster which I have crafted to the tv and I'm going to show you and talk on 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 the subject in the background so the background is um the universe uh, how we imagine it to look like how people think it looks like but we, we're not too sure how it looks like right that's what i believe so this is similar to tefari tefa or fonofale the universe is my house and then we have the first one um the spiritual why uh sorry the spiritual well-being that is the buddha uh, i'm very spiritual in the sense of buddhism and hinduism and um, you know spirituality is very important because you need to fall back on something either religion or spirituality having that open mind and belief and then we have um, mental and emotional that's the hand moving to towards another hand um, it's in, in my case that's humanitarian so you know moving forward looking at something and always knowing that you know there is growth there is something that you can move, move forward to and not looking back because there's always growth and you just need that little push with the mental and emotional thing and not look back and things that stop you are temporary always move forward find alternatives to help you when you're when you don't have any motivation in life basically and then we have um we have 
the colored hands different skin tones so that is um that would be land and roots for me because um i'm very anti-discriminative and anti-racism and anti everything and i'm just humanitarian so i believe we all are the same we just have different skin tones we speak different languages we practice different things but in the day at the end of the day we're all human we all have red blood and that's what we need to practice that we're sent here to deliver something and once your mission is complete you go back to where you came from and that's what i highly believe in and then we have um my jobs that are basically like my landed roots because um my jobs have made me who i am today i've always wanted to be a social worker and i did my level four i had to wait a while until i was 20 to get into the field and <coughs> excuse me um and my job made me who i am today and i enjoyed it so much that i stayed there for five years I didn't have any commitment phobia issues with these jobs and it's taught me so much uh, I am who I am today because of my job and it's less of an upbringing thing it's more of what I have learned through working in social services at a community home as a worker I get to see so much happening and I guess that aligns with my upbringing as well because I come from a very empathic and supportive family where we like to help people or heal people and then we have my my family that's my daughter my partner and myself um that's family and social well-being and family is important because at the end of the day you need to go back to someone and share your day and family needs to be very healthy and you can't have a toxic environment at home you know because family where you wake up and sleep every day has a very important impact and a big impact on you because that's your mental health that's connected to your mental health and if your family don't make you happy then what's the point you know at the end of the day life is short we need to be happy and family are obviously in, involved in that happiness and if they're not making you happy then change it Okay, so this is the end of my presentation. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for spending so much time um, watching this video and I hope this stuff makes a bit of sense and gives a bit of clarity and um, maybe you learned something from this today. But yes, kakiteano. Thank you guys.